good whatever time it is wherever you are. So, I bought myself a new purse and I've been wanting one. I needed some retail therapy, so I did that. I bought myself a new purse and I thought what better time than cleaning out my old purse and putting my stuff in a new purse than to do a what's in my bag. Like, any of you actually care, but it's what I wanna do this week and so I'm going to. So, um, this is the purse I've been using. It is a Rosetti bag. I got it JCPenney's. And I really, really love it. It's just starting to, I don't know if you can see, but come apart there. And, um, but it's held up really, really good. And I really, really like this bag. I got this new bag at Target. I have no idea what kind of bag it is. I just liked it. I'm super, super picky about my bags. And the one criteria they have to have before I'll even look at it, like I won't even give a bag a time of day if it doesn't have some sort of like front pocket that I can just slip stuff down in because it, I just a must for me, like absolute 100% has to have. Let's just get into it. As you can see in this bag, I have a couple of front pockets. Down in those, I have a couple of pins, work pin and just a regular pin because they get shoved down there when I go shopping. In the other front pocket, I have this little thing. It's for my new pop socket. It got stuck in there today, so it's not regularly in there. Actually, that's probably the cleanest. Oh, and a, a receipt from... Actually, I have no idea where this came from. Kohl's? Um, and then in this front little zipper pocket, I have um, this... Uh, eye is it for eyes yeah it's for eyes this little I've never used it I bought it thought it was for lips put it on my lips did not work uh, hated it was gonna take it back so I also have the receipt for that down in there but um, now that I know it's for eyes I might actually try it and that's actually all that's in that little pocket and then there's this other little secret pocket here on the side and um, let's see what's in there a thumb drive that probably hasn't been taken out in months uh, and my pocket knife that probably hasn't been taken out in months and moving on to this top pocket I have my checkbook this gift card to a jewelry store in town that I forgot I had my work name tag that never comes out of my purse and um, my pin my sorority pin one of them for Weva, one of the founders, a cloth to clean my glasses with. That's it in that pocket. So we're going to move on to the main pocket of the purse. Um, I have a Bodycology, uh, I don't know what to call it, a hand sanitizer, yeah, that's it. So I have this little hand sanitizer that I got at a business fair. It's really cool, I really love it because it's just like a little squirt. And you can't like really get too much, so let's just squirt it a bunch. But I like it, it's really handy to keep in my purse. I've got a Starbucks gift card that my boss gave me that I have been saving and have not used yet. Um, a Starbucks is opening up down the road from work, I think I'm kind of saving it for that grand opening. Um, a Target receipt from getting my new purse today. Um, my keys, important to keep in your purse because you're not gonna get far without those. My headphones need those later another receipt my vlogging camera my super super cute sunglasses uh, they're oakley and i bought these when i moved to florida they're prescription they're super cute i usually wear them on my way to work or keep them in my bag in case i go somewhere and need sunglasses my wallet it's brand new it's super shiny and i absolutely love that about it it's liz claiborne too i got that at jc penny as well another pair of headphones that does not fit my phone anymore but fits justin so i'll give those to him a pack of gum that is i don't know how old does this stuff go bad best by next year all right well i have a year to chew that so i'm gonna keep it and a little usb plug for my car usb is that what it's called? Receipts and movie tickets. Another little car charger part. Um, another pin. Can't ever have too many pins, I say. 
So inside I have this like zipper center part and let's see what's in there. Oh, a pad, you know, every girl's gotta have one of those on hand just in case. Um, and that was it. That was literally all that I had in the secret center pocket. Um, so there's one more pocket left and it's just the little inside one that all purses have. I have this little um, houndstooth Vera Bradley ID thing. I keep all my like insurance cards and stuff in this just you know the important stuff um, and I also have uh, two notes that Justin wrote me in high school in here that I just like to keep with me and look at every now and then um, my inhaler so you know if I start to die and that's it with everything in my bag and I'm guarantee I'm missing something but so I'll have to go back through that so that was everything that was in my bag right now um I'm super excited to use my new bag and I just wanted to mention and talk about book club so for the month of January we were reading the wings versus the world and I'm gonna be perfectly honest and say that I only read um, a few pages of it and I could not get into it it just did not grab me and for someone that hasn't read in a long time, I really need to be reading books that just really grab me in the first, you know, few pages and just get me really interested. And this book just does not do it. I might try it again later and I'm gonna try to make up for it and read two books in February. The actual book club book that me and Lindsay have decided on is going to be The Sun is Also a Star, which has gotten a lot of really great reviews and a lot of people have been talking about it. I've been hearing about this everywhere and I'm not even a big part of the book community. So I'm really excited to read this and if you want to pick it up with us, um, please do and join our uh, Goodreads book club group. Um, I'll leave all the links and stuff in the description. Uh, as for my second book to make up for The Wings vs. the World, I rented, rented? And I checked out The Hunger Games, um, the first book in the Hunger Games series. And I've never read it, but I've seen all the movies, and I think that I need to just catch up on a few of those really popular books that I missed out on. So I'm going to be reading that. So if you want to read that with me, I will also start a discussion for that. And I'm just really excited to go on this book reading adventure with all of you. And I hope that you will join us. Subscribe if you like my content. If you want to hear more about the books we're reading, what we're doing. Uh, if you like our daily vlogs or anything like that, go to our channel, check it all out. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment. I don't know, all those things that you're supposed to do. And I'm so glad you're here, so glad you're supporting us. And I will see you next time. Bye.